A good night of Shabbos, Hollywood. Welcome to another edition of Pop. Last week sparked the concept of Machlokas. Korach is holy on Moshe, and he makes a grand Machlokas amongst all of Klal Yisrael, a revolt against Moshe. This week's parasha, Chukas, another Machlokas. Klal Yisrael comes in holy on Moshe, that they're sick of the man, they want food. Going into the three weeks next week, a week from, uh, what is it, a week from Tuesday. What is it all about? Machlokas, Sinaschinim. What's going on? Why can't we all just get along? You know, Chazal tells us when, when Yaakov Avinu was leaving his house and going to Beis Lovim, famous Chazal and Chulin, that Yaakov laid down, he realized he was in Hara Maria, he stopped, he laid down there, he surrounded himself with 12 stones. Says Chazal, each stone started to argue because each one wanted to be the one that the tzaddik would lay his head on. This one argued with this one argued with this one. So they all joined up to make one big stone. And that's what Yaakov Avinu rested his head on. Say the Svarim HaKadoshim. I don't get it. Once you're making a, once you're making a miracle, make a nice soft pillow. Ah, Givaldic, he could have a nice soft pillow in the wilderness to schlup and have a good rest. Why not make a soft pillow? Say the Sifzay Tzadik and others. You know why? Because nothing soft ever comes out of Machlokas. Nothing good results from Machlokas. The lesson is, we got to bury our Machlokas. That means you, you, me, everybody who thinks they have a good reason for Machlokas, there's never a good reason. Nothing soft comes out. Bezer Hashem, we start burying Machlokas. Maybe we won't have to have it three weeks here after all. Good Shabbos and have a wonderful Shabbos.